Hello guys, welcome to Millionaire by 25. Hope you guys are doing great. I hope you are making tons of money for yourself. I believe that by now you should have set up your YouTube channel and you should know the niche you want to go into. So today we will be starting this video course and uh, it is what I like to call one of the most important lessons in this entire course. This is my secret keyword process. Like I said, I will be giving you our secret keyword process so don't forget to like subscribe click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a video the video course will start right after the intro All right, welcome back. Like I said, this is my secret keyword process and this is what will help you if you implement everything that I will be teaching you on this course. First of all, before I get into the process, let's go over to all that you will need. Now, you will need for this process the VidIQ account and at least be on the lowest plan. Remember I said that you can be on the pro plan which I think is about $7 a month. Now you would also need a Google Docs or just the Microsoft Word as an alternative, something to write things down on. I recommend the Google Sheets although you can also use the Microsoft Excel or any other spreadsheet software. And by implementing the process that I am going to be showing you guys, you can absolutely blow up your YouTube channel. Now, I'm going to be making a disclaimer that this isn't the only thing that goes into having a high performing YouTube channel. You also have to make high performing videos, which means videos that get high audience retention and videos that have high click through rates. But if you combine all of these together, your channel is absolutely going to blow up. Without further ado, let's get into the keyword process. Now, let's take a look at what this keyword process actually look like. So the keyword process starts with researching and now this is researching what keyword we are going to use and then we're going to want to sort the keywords from the best opportunity to the worst opportunity. And then we're going to want to analyze those with our own eyes, analyze the keywords and find the best ones based off of the parameters that I'm going to be giving you guys in this lesson. And then we're going to want to actually implement these keywords into our YouTube channel, which means basically just plugging them in our channel keywords and in the keywords and tags that you put in every videos that you upload. Like I said, you guys are going to get tons of value from this course. So the keyword process starts with making a list of probably 20 seed keywords. I define seed keywords as keyword describing the type of content that you are going to be uploading on your YouTube channel. For example, Millionaire by 25, which we teach people how to make money online. So selecting good keywords for your channel involves a couple of process which includes research, cleanse, sort, analyze and then you need to impute the keyword on your channel. Now something that is good with the vidIQ is that it gives your channel ideas, it gives you ranking keywords that probably would do very well if you put it in your video for your YouTube channel. So if you create your own channel, you can get to see what good video ideas that will do well on your channel. Like right here, you can see keyword opportunities. Now it tells you some keywords that you can use like how to make money online. This one has medium competition, then entrepreneurial motivation. The competition is really high. So you see the overall score is 41. So your focus should be these overall scores. Now this one has an overall score of 62. So that shows that you could give it a shot. And this is probably a keyword that you may want to use and would do better. So this is from our channel, but I would like to use a very different example completely. So if you click here that says keywords, you want to pick a set of keywords like 5, 10, 15, 20, depending on what you want for your channel. So you can see the search that I already have here, affiliate marketing for beginners, how to make money on YouTube. But let's assume you're working with a completely different niche. Let's say you are working with a weight loss niche and you're trying to find how to lose weight, keto diet or weight loss per se. 
this is where you find your keywords. If you search weight loss, for instance, as a keyword, it shows you what the search volume is and what the competition is since competition is very high and the overall score is 45. But more important than that is matching terms. So you can see there are 300 matching terms. You can view all the 300 matching terms. So these are the overall score. So you see this one, aerobic workouts for weight loss. This, Arpelion weight loss. So this one is high and the competition is very low. So if you create a video on weight loss journey, then you probably won't get a result from searches because the search volume is high and same is the competition. So if you create a video on weight loss journey, you're likely not to get any views because of the high competition rate. Same with weight loss transformation. These are keywords that are very saturated and bad for new channels. Okay. So if you want to make a video on weight loss, you want to make it on this Apelion weight loss and uh, 30 minutes, 30 seconds walk for weight loss. These are two keywords that will be much better for you. So this is the benefit of using these two. You want to focus on only keywords in green. The Vida IQ gives you everything you want. Weight loss plateau, that's also another good one. Low competition and then this one, very low competition as well. Ice hack for weight loss. It also has a low competition too. And that's how you go through the entire list. You can search this healthy eating and weight loss for instance. You can also pick this keyword and let's search it. You can search it and see what it gives you. So in this competition is very high and the overall score is not the best. But again, your interest is the matching terms and you see some good ones. Oh, this appears again. Well, this guy seems to be a YouTuber that creates videos on weight loss. So let me search it and see. Brian Young. Of course, he has a YouTube channel. So probably this guy's channel is all around weight loss. And that's why a lot of people search for him. So that's generally the way to go with finding keywords. So say you search for the keto diet for weight loss. Overall score is 37, competition is high, but your interest again is the 3000 matching keywords and you will be going through this list. And what you're really looking for is keywords that have a high overall score. So you're looking at the ones in green. These are the only ones you want to focus on and you want to completely give out the ones that have low overall score, right? So you want to focus only on the ones on green. So if you do find the ones on green, uh, 70 keto recipes for weight loss. This is also another good one. So all of these ones are the ones you want to focus on and you want to keep on trying keywords until you get exhausted. Now you can come back and like, let's say this one now is a keto diet plan for weight loss. This is like a complete YouTube video title, but if you click it, you'd see what the search for is what competition is and if there's any matching terms. It also shows it here and if you click it again, if there are no matching terms, you can just maybe search like how to lose weight. So you see competition here is very high, but you can go through again all this and every time you are going through this list, you're extracting the ones that have good overall score like this one that has 67, how to lose weight fast. You're picking out all these keywords that have good scores and an overall score is like 60% the ones in greens. Now you have a list of keywords that you can target. So when you have the list of keywords, then you can formulate the title of your video from these keywords and you can have targets. And of course, you want to mention those keywords multiple times in your video. Those keywords should be in your description. Those keywords should also be in your tags, your metadata. So when you are uploading your videos, there is a session for adding tags. You have a path for your title. You want to make sure that the title has the keyword that you have researched. Your description should also have those keywords and then your tags. So this is some of your tags. The tag section should have those keywords you are targeting. And at this point, your video is optimized and then you can upload your video and expect to get views because you have a specific keywords that have good overall score. And this is a way to go on keyword searching using VidIQ to enable your channel blow up. 
So let me know if you have any question in the comment section. A link to get to the Vida IQ at a discount will be in the description as well. So in the next lesson, I'm going to actually show you how you can implement this process even further into your YouTube channel by implementing channel keywords and a bunch of other cool things that you guys are going to love. It will definitely make a big deal out of your YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a video. See you guys in the next video course.